Hello everyone, I'm back. I got everything pre-set up, but basically the gist of what I'm doing is I'm moving these guys here into this, because pretty soon they're gonna be getting a little big and they're starting to do a little funkiness right in there. I'll show you that in a second, but for now I'm going to try to get uh, get all these bees dumped in there and it's gonna be a little bit of a fiasco because this is really my first time doing this. So. Uh, pretty much just improvising but the main thing I want to do is I want to keep these these frames here on the outside I want to keep them relatively you know exterior so I don't you know end up getting the brood so I probably need to move them like that if I had to guess and put the, uh, the areas where they keep brood right here in the center because they, they build from the brood inwards and they go honey outwards that's generally how they do it, from what I know. So I'm gonna get these little frames out. Now, last time I opened this thing up, this frame here gave me a lot of trouble trying to get it back in, so we should be good. All right, now, this is going to be the crazy one because I, I'm a little nervous about this because this is a lot of honey. I'm going to end up eating some of this. That's why I had my bowl over there. Let me go grab the bowl. Let me grab the bowl. Here's my bowl. It's going to be a little, a little funky, but I'm going to end up having to smoke all of these ones off of it and try to shake them down into them. So you can see right here how they have kind of made some funkiness right there. I think there's some, you can see right there. Zoom in on that. You can see that little bit of brood that I destroyed, but nothing we can really do about this. My hands are kind of sticky. I'm going to need to clean off my phone. But Sorry if my finger's in the shot. I'm kind of holding this a little funky. There. I'll kind of just put this right here. There, I'll put it right there. So they know where to go. That's my shadow. Uh, no. They will figure it out. They will figure out the rest. Next is all this right here. Now there is a little bit of capped brood in this. So, yeah. But it'll ultimately, I think it'll be fine. Just you know, pick that out, pick the little grubs out. <laughs> all right, I'm back. So now we are just dealing with this. Now it has a couple grubs, but we can, we can pick those out. So <clears throat> basically what I'm gonna do is get it in the bowl. We ate the other ones, by the way, it was good. Gonna scrape this off. I don't know how much honey is in these. There. Easy peasy. I hear. Yeah, he's in. I hear something buzzing. There. Oh, there he is right there. Oh. All right. There. Now we got pretty much fresh stuff. Now that's why, you, of course, you know, brood in the. Uh, you can see. Right here, that's a couple brood right there. Oh, there's a couple right there. So this one may not have any honey in it. Yeah, look, there's mixed in there. 
See, there's one right there. All in there, yeah. So this one may not be good to eat. But that is why you use a queen excluder, because it keeps the, uh, keeps the queen out of the honey, in other words. So, so she doesn't lay any anything in the egg, or excuse me, in the honey that you eat. So yeah, there's too much larva mixed in this. So you probably won't be able to eat it. But still, it is good to get it out. And keep this one clean for, you know, later use. So that'll be good. Oh, we got one right there. I'll deal with him later. But anyways, that that uh that concludes the video for today. Uh, thank y'all for watching. It was kind of a short one and a last second one, but oh well. So <clears throat> I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. I got it right that time. And uh, I hope to see everyone real soon. See y'all.